It's a strong, it's a fortified tower and the righteous run into it and are safe. Who is it that gets to live in this castle, in this kingdom? Those who walk uprightly in covenant before God. First of all, first of, of all, maybe you didn't know that you were royalty. Did you know that you were royalty? I don't know how many of you stay up with the royal family. Before I tell you, Mar uh, Ma uh, Megan Markle is just killed, isn't she? I mean, she's just taking the right steps, doing the right thing. Amen? And the same thing in the spiritual sense, we are royalty. And if you don't know that today, I pray that you would hear the word of the Lord today and that you would begin to walk in that royalty. But we are royalty. If you're royalty, we must act like it, have a humble demeanor. We must walk like it, walking humbly with your God. We must smell like it. <laughs> Have a fragrance of sweet smelling savor to the nostrils of our God. Dress like it, dress in his righteousness, being spotless and being blameless, and we must we must speak like it. Amen? Amen. Amen. The name is the word I want to focus on today. There are three meanings to this word name. The first meaning of it is rock. It's a three-part rock known as the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's a number of completion, a solid rock, a cord that cannot be easily broken. Jesus said upon this rock, upon this foundation, upon this authority, upon his name, you, we will build a church, you will build a church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. This rock, upon this thing, upon this foundation, upon this authority, upon his that's a whole other preaching. All that facts will preach on that. Upon his standard, you will build my church. And 1 Corinthians 6.19 says, you are the temple. You are the church. We are the body of Christ. The Bible says that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. A body of believers, of a, of a Holy Spirit. Matthew 16, verses 13 through 19, says, through 19 says, when Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied, some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others, Jeremiah, or one of those prophets. But what about you, he asks? Who do you say that I am? <coughs> Simon Peter answered, you are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Jesus replied, blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for this was not revealed to you by flesh and blood, but by my Father in heaven. And I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades, or the gates of hell, or the gates of the slanderer. Remember the slanderer, everything he does, he slags? The gates of the slanderer, or the presence of that atmosphere, the presence of the evil one, that's all it is, folks. It's just a presence. We need to stop giving that presence attention. Turn your backside to it and say, get thee behind me. For 1 John 4, 4 says, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Amen. 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 Jesus said the presence of the evil one, the slander, will not overcome it. The church, your temple, we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Your home, your health, your goods. The Bible, the scripture says if you can, if you can steal your joy, he'll steal your goods. But Jesus is saying here, we used to say in, in seminary, read the red and pray the power. <laughs> because everything in red was written by Jesus. Amen. And that's what this is about this morning. We need to Amen. read the red, and we need to pray for the power. Amen? Amen. But again, the slander will not overcome it. Will not overcome our church. Will not overcome this temple of the Holy Spirit. Will not overcome your home. Will not overcome your health. Will not overcome your goods. Will not overcome your blessings. Third John 1, 2 says, Beloved, I pray that in every way you may prosper and be in good health. It's just a presence. So why are we entertaining it? Are y'all hearing this this morning? First Peter 5 8 says, He comes at a roaring lion. He makes a lot of noise. And you know what? If, if there's anyone that I don't like to talk about is a slanderer. I don't like to give him any time. I don't have I just don't have any use for him. But 
the Bible says in Jesus tells us, and First Peter says here, he comes as a roaring lion. He makes a lot of noise. He's a toothless lion. It's a fake presence. And the warning alert for us here is to the believer is to be sober minded. Have the mind of Christ. So when you sense his presence, just take the attitude, ah, it's just you. You're out of here, Jesus' name. Amen. 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 <laughs> A lot of times we entertain that realm. And greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Amen. Amen. Verse 19, that was all <laughs> just those verses. In verse 19, it says, I will give you the keys. I will give you access. Whether you know it or not, the kingdom of heaven is within us. We just need to start acting like it. Amen? Amen. I know this week we we we, we um, had to take our, our, our little furry baby to the doctor and, and it was upsetting or whatever and and I suddenly the Lord just nudged me, the spirit just nudged me, and then I was sharing the glory. Some of you know that I'm Jesus Christ, probably whatever you want, that's okay. But in the night I had a dream that I anointed him with oil and I prayed over him. So that morning, that's what I did. Well, not too long after that, maybe a few minutes after that, Pastor sent me a text and said, anoint him with oil and pray over him. God, God always gives us confirmation. Why? Because that's what's in the kingdom of God. We have so much power. We have so much authority. And we did that. And uh, we took him to the bed, and the bed gave him all these medicines, and he got worse. And he was dragging his, his backside just everywhere he went walk on his leg and we just took him off all that stuff. He said, no, we're not going to do this to him. If we have to put him down. We don't want him to go this way. And so again, the Lord gives us wisdom, gives us knowledge because the kingdom of God is within us. And if we listen to the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will even help us with those little creatures that God has entrusted us with. Amen? Yeah. And as we did that, one of the newest things in our, in, in West's practice is laser acupuncture. And Wes started researching, <coughs> research that means he's just a book of knowledge. And he began to research and said, they have the same points that we have as, as adults. And we began to do the laser surgery, the laser acupuncture on him. Make the story short, today he's walking better, he's not dragging. Uh, Hallelujah. Again, because as we do our part, God's so we can do it. Even when it comes to the Amen. 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 That's it. I won't charge you for that. <laughs> Again, we are, we are the kingdom. And I love, and I love that verse 19. I will give you the keys. I will give you the access of whatever you are in need of, that whatsoever you bind here on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever is bound in heaven will be bound here. I love to read here. I'm a new King James version. That's what I said. So, and it says, I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. And that works in every aspect of our life. We just have to do it. We just have faith and trust that what God's word says is true. Amen? Amen. All right, let me continue on. The second meaning of this word name is foundation. 1 Corinthians 3.11 says, For no one can lay any foundation other than the one already laid, which is Jesus Christ. Foundation, a sure foundation from beginning to end. It's like a weight. I was thinking, give me something, Lord. Give me something in my mind that I can kind of understand. Because the Word of God is that is simply application. Apply it to your life, and it works if you believe it. And God said, it's like a weight, a hundred pound weight that you tie around your neck. It makes it difficult for you to be easily moved. That's why Paul said, after having done all, stand only on this foundation for everything else is sinking sand, is quicksand, is unlevel territory. But my foundation is rock solid. That's the name of Jesus. Amen? And in a physical sense, there are three layers for a solid foundation. 
There are three associations that anyone building a foundation has to abide by. Our spiritual foundation is also made up of three. The Godhead, the three in one, the God the Father, our Creator, Jesus the Son, our cornerstone, and the Holy Spirit, our comforter and teacher that teaches us all things and we hearken into his voice and if we walk from the presence of his Holy Spirit. I love the hymn writer wrote on Christ, the solid rock I stand. All on the ground is sinking sand. Amen? Amen. The third meaning to the word name is authority. Matthew 28, 18 through 20 says, Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority, or was it some authority? All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all people, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything I have required, instructed, giving you evidence to do. And without a doubt, I will be with you always to the very end. Acts 4.12 says, only Jesus has the power to save. His name is the only one in all the world that can save anyone. There is salvation in none other, for neither is there any other name under heaven that is given among men by which we must be saved. One of the things of me expressing how I can express Jesus comes from the lyrics of a song, of a song and it says, for he's more wonderful than my mind can conceive. He's more wonderful than my heart can believe. He goes beyond my highest hopes, my dreams. He's everything that my soul has ever longed for. He's everything he promised and he's so much more. He's more than amazing. He's more than marvelous. He's more than miraculous could ever be. He's more than wonderful. That's what Jesus is to me, the name of all names. Amen. Amen. When we are in obedience to his name, Jesus is the rock in a weary land. Jesus is my firm foundation. I shall not be moved. In Jesus, I have all authority to make his name great, to raise a standard of excellence for his glory, that the world may know that without him we have no direction. We are lost. But with him, all things are possible to those who believe. I pray this morning that I've given you the keys of that name, the precious name, no other name but the name of Jesus. Our walk of deliverance, the firm foundation, and the keys of authority. Now exercise it. We have the keys. Jesus, he wants to open up the doors that no man can shut in your lives. He loves 